We've only discovered a small fraction of the world's parasites, and we understand even less about what they can do. But one thing we do understand, the parasites that cause malaria have historically killed billions of humans, and today, malaria is making a most deadly comeback. This mosquito must drink blood if she is to breathe. She's an Anopheles mosquito, the only kind capable of transmitting the deadly malaria parasite to humans. The bad news? Anopheles mosquitoes live in 48 U.S. states. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is the front line of America's battle against epidemics. The scientists here keep track of how our changing environment affects the spread of parasite-borne diseases. West Nile fever in New York City, dengue fever on the Texas border, and the parasite malaria. In the United States, malaria is the most commonly imported disease. Every year, about a thousand cases come into the country, and sometimes the disease spreads to people who have never even left home. Oceans, mountain ranges, and international borders no longer protect us. Deadly diseases are just a plane trip away. This traveler is just returning from a malaria-infested country. Just a week ago, he was bitten by a mosquito. He has no idea that he carries the potential to spread the disease. And now he's infected with a malaria parasite. A single-celled animal hiding inside his red blood cells. Soon the traveler will become sick. All it takes to spread the disease is for one local Anopheles mosquito to bite him. The mosquito sucks the traveler's infected red blood cells into her gut, and malaria is on the loose in America. The mosquito is now a potential killer, and there's no telling where she'll turn up next. During her lifespan of up to three weeks, she can travel for miles and bite as many as 10 people, starting tonight. There have been several outbreaks of malaria in the United States in the last few years. Worldwide, malaria attacks nearly 500 million people a year and kills 2 million of them, mostly in the developing world. No one is immune. It's been 10 days since the mosquito visited the airport. The malaria parasites inside her body have turned into eel-like creatures. Now she injects them into the musician's body. The intruders sweep through his blood system. They are programmed to do one thing, find the musician's liver. Here, the parasite homes in on a single cell.
Over the next six days, the malaria parasite will replicate more than 20,000 times. It's the beginning of a terrible assault. The besieged cell expands until it can no longer take the strain. The parasites surge into the bloodstream. The body's immune system kicks into action. The white blood cells attack, engulfing the parasites. The malaria's only chance of survival is to escape, burrowing into the red blood cells. Safe inside, they will feed on hemoglobin, a vital part of their diet. For the moment, the musician is unaware of the battle going on inside his body. But within the shelter of his red blood cells, the parasite has fed and is preparing for a massive new attack. This time, the onslaught is huge. Now he knows something's wrong. His body is swamped by millions of parasites. It's a medical emergency. I'm going to stop like this. More and more parasites explode into the musician's body. He slips into shock and trembles with fever. Many of the debilitating symptoms of malaria result from toxins the body produces in the fight against the parasite. The white blood cells launch an all-out assault, but they can't hold back this army of invaders. His temperature is soaring to dangerous levels. His muscles have seized, causing uncontrollable shivering. His life is in peril. There are four types of malaria, and the musician has been diagnosed with the most deadly of all, falciparum or cerebral malaria. It causes the infected blood cells to become sticky and block the small blood vessels to the brain. There is no time to lose. Quinine is one of the only drugs that can kill the parasite once it's invaded the body. The musician is stabilized. He's lucky to be alive. Malaria is a global problem. It used to be commonplace in many parts of the United States and Europe. It wasn't until the 1950s that mosquito spraying helped eradicate malaria in the developed world. The spraying still continues today. Some mosquitoes are now becoming resistant to pesticides, and some strains of malaria are becoming resistant to our newest drugs. Maybe someday we'll have a vaccine against malaria, but meanwhile, if we drop our guard, it could return to haunt us.